Hello everyone, welcome to BA Consulting Pro. If you want to make your career in Azure Data Engineering or if you are already working in Azure Data Engineering field, then definitely you would like to pursue a certification in the same field. And for Azure, previously there were two certifications for Azure Data Engineering. You have to clear two certifications and after that only you will get uh, Azure Certified Engineer. But now it has been changed. That means now you have to only clear one certification. Now only you need to appear for DP203 exam, that is for Azure Data Engineer Associate exam. And after that, you can be a certified data engineer. So if you are looking for that, then this video is for you. So please stay tuned with me till the end of this video. I'm gonna let you know how you can achieve it or how you can clear your Azure Data Engineering Associate exam in the very first attempt. So enough of the talking, let's get started. Over here, just type DP203. Once you are going to type DP203, the very first exam would be exam DP203, that is Data Engineering on Microsoft Azure. Click on this link. Once you will click, you will find all the exam related information over here as well as the fee for this exam. If you want to check in your selected country, you can select the drop down and you can select the country where you are living currently. For example, if I'm living in Singapore, I can go in the list and I can select for the Singapore. And here I can see that my exam fee is 176 USD. And this price is based on the country in which the exam is proctored. So this exam can be scheduled at home or in office or at a designated exam center. So it's your choice if you have a stable internet connection at home or in your office, you can attend from your home or office, otherwise you can go to a Pearson Test Center 2. Then you have to click on Schedule Exam and follow the necessary steps. So now let's talk about the skill measure. So as you can see on your screen, these are the different skills that are being measured in the exam. And there is a certain percentage over there. So in this exam, basically, you have to work on the four different skills. That means design and implement data storage, design and develop data processing, design and implement data security. And lastly, there is one more skill which is very necessary for this exam. And that is monitor and optimize data processing and data storage. Storage. So these all four skills are being measured in this exam and their percentage you can see on your screen. So it varies by percentage. There would be multiple questions and also there would be some questions which are based on yes or no, whether this solution is meeting the criteria or not. And that can be based on a case study too. For this exam, you have uh, 120 minutes of total time and out of that 100 minutes is a call for your exam. The remaining 20 minutes that you have to utilize for the survey, if they are asking you some questions or read the terms and conditions etc. before starting your actual exam. Then you will get 100 minutes for your exam. In that 100 minutes, you have to attempt 65 questions. The first 61 questions would be in one part. And the last four questions will be separately. So you cannot go back or you cannot check your question and answers by going back into the other screen because the last four questions would be a, a separate section. Also in this exam, you will get one case study. And on the basis of that case study, there would be certain questions which you have to answer. If we talk about the types of question and answer, there would be multiple choice question answer multiple choice, multiple answers or multiple choice, single answers. Plus there would be some drag and drop. But don't worry, in each and every question, she will get to know what you have to do. Please do not forget to read the question prompt carefully because it's very important. Otherwise, you are going to miss some of the details. And the passing criteria would be 700 marks. So that means you need at least 700 marks to pass this exam. So this is all about the exam pattern, the passing marks and what kind of skills are being measured in this exam.
if we talk about the steady material then you can use this same website over here and you will go down there are two ways to prepare one is online free and second one is instructor led paid training so online free material you can access there are the different materials there are the different sections which you can access and you can read all of them if you want to know more you can ask us in the comment section otherwise please follow our series on azure data engineering associate exam that is dp203 where we are publishing every week new videos related to the same exam which is going to be very helpful for you for study this exam so these two materials are gonna be absolutely helpful for you in order to clear this exam and if you want to appear for this exam very soon so please do mind that that you need to do your preparation you need to do well practice for the exams i do provide question and answers in our each and every video so that you can practice your question and answers and we will provide you more so please stay tuned with our channel and if you haven't subscribed this channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you can receive all the notifications every time we post any video over there so that's all guys that's all you need to know in order to pass this exam so stay tuned with our channel don't forget to subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for all the latest videos and updates.